Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're looking at environmental sustainability. In particular, we're looking at ecologically sustainable development. If we're thinking about this topic, we're looking at this idea that in economics, there can be a conflict between pursuing economic growth and achieving environmental sustainability. If you think about this, uh, economies can overuse or exploit their natural resources and that in the present and especially in the future, this could reduce their potential economic output. And that as you may have seen in other subjects that you're studying, economists have concerns that the world is consuming natural resources at an unsustainable rate, which wouldn't leave much for future generations. So what we instead think about in economics is that we need to pursue ecologically sustainable development. And that if we think about what this is, the key kind of things we're talking about, it's where an economy achieves a level of economic growth, which is compatible with the long-term preservation of the environment. So it's looking at long-term rather than just maximum economic growth in the short term. And this is the idea of ecologically sustainable development. So if we're thinking about this issue, we're looking at a trade-off or a choice, or you could go back to the idea of opportunity cost between environmental sustainability and economic growth. But what does this look like? In economics, we're all about graphs and images and things, and why should this be any different? Good point. So let's look at this graph, which comes from Tim Riley's textbook, Year 12 Echo 2018, published in 2017, but this graph holds up. If we have a look, we've got the trade-off between economic growth over here and environmental quality over here. So the idea is that if we want to have more economic growth, we will have less environmental quality if we want less economic growth, we will have higher environmental uh, quality. It is a true trade-off. If we look at, let's have a look at this arrow here. So we're moving from this curve up to here. So what we're saying here is that if we move from say, let's say from point one to point four, that what we are doing is we are seeing an improvement in ecologically sustainable development. This is what ESD stands for. So essentially the economy is prioritizing environmental quality over economic growth. Now, if we think about, let's say an economy is producing at point two uh, and that it decides to move that way. But what we can see, for instance, is that if we see point 0.2 to, uh, let's call it point 0.5, from 2 to 5, that that's actually a reduction in ecologically sustainable development. Instead, this economy is placing... So if you are uh, looking at trying to demonstrate the choice that an economy has between economic growth and environmental quality, this could be a really good graph to use, particularly in showing the examples that we have just done. So if we then think about, well, what are the principles? What are the ideas? What are the underpinnings? What are the central tenets? What are the key points about ecologically sustainable development? And the kind of things we think about is that we integrate economic and environmental goals. The key word here is the integrate. So the idea here is that they are. The other thing is that environmental assets are appropriately valued. Um, so this could be in dollar terms, but it's very hard to truly value environmental assets. But the idea is that they are appropriately valued in that they are protected. 
The other thing is to ensure fairness in shifting costs and assets within and between generations. Okay, that sounds pretty complex. Let's make this a little bit simpler. So present generations leave resources for future generations and that taking into account the global risks of environmental issues. For example, climate change, the impact of climate change, the effects of climate change is not restricted to just one economy. So if we think about what we've discussed in this video, we've had a look at what ecologically sustainable development is, how we might draw it up, and then also what are the principles.